Hello YouTube. Today I'm going to review something I got at uh, Home Depot to replace um, something here. Uh, a new kind of light bulb. Well, it's not new. Actually, the technology has been around for a little while. What's new about this bulb, though, is the price point. Um, and you have to excuse the low light um, because it's actually out of the socket right now. I've had a chance to do some testing with it and uh, I took it out so that I could show you this and this is the Cree this is the 60 watt equivalent version of this light bulb this uh, is the daylight one I don't like the warm white a lot of people do but I've always liked neutral white as opposed to the warm white but uh, this bulb 60 watt equivalent uses 9 watts of power and um, it's thirteen dollars thirteen dollars and not only for that price you get a decent bulb but you get one that is actually dimmable I don't know how many of you have actually ever bought LED bulbs but the prices on them have been just outrageous you know finally these guys have created one and it's a pretty solid little product um, for a good price point you can get the 40 watt equivalent is only nine dollars and if it's anything like the 60 watt equivalent it's brighter this thing you know I'm like okay 60 watt bulb it'll probably be about as you know you know what to expect you plug it in and turn it on and it's like vroom, you know, it's like wow <laughs> it uh, it's an interesting product um, I'll switch views and I'll point out some of its features You'll have to excuse my nose. Huh? Something is making my nose itch like crazy. But anyway, here we go. So some of you have probably, no doubt, seen this on YouTube now. It's floating around. People are reviewing it. There's even a teardown. Um, one of the things that's really nice about this particular unit is it has a very, very small driver unit inside here. It's, it's about the same size. You can actually stand this up next to a regular incandescent bulb and it, the profile is pretty close to it other than the base but uh, this globe is all glass this is a real glass globe so it's not going to yellow and discolor over time it's not that plastic of course the caveat there is if you're a klutz and you drop things you probably uh, want to be careful with these it has a silicon coating on it. It's a very clear silicon coating. It's almost like rubber. It's designed so that if it's dropped, the glass breaks. It's inside that little silicon blister, so you just you could throw it away. Or you could just remove the silicon, remove the remnants of the glass, and be careful. The LEDs are pretty much shatterproof. LEDs are not like any other bulb you'll ever handle, in that you can drop them and bump them around and it doesn't hurt them. They are solid state. Um, this is the heat sink here. Actually, the way they, they figured this out, a lot of your conventional LED bulbs don't have this. They have the LEDs are usually at the bottom. The light pattern is like maybe this way. It goes out in a cone out the top of it. These are closer to a regular standard bulb. They have a pretty uniform illumination pattern all the way around them. You know, except for the top is a little dim because they don't have any LEDs on top, but this will work extremely well in table lamps or fixtures where the bulb is mounted sideways. You know, it more closely, not exactly, but more closely matches the radiation pattern of a standard bulb. There's no mercury in these, and they are ROHS compliant. I believe they have no lead in them. It's lead-free solder. The only thing about these that I, I don't really care for over other ones and it's a small thing that rubber coating on the glass I peeled that off because it's tacky and what's gonna happen is if you're in a house where there's a lot of dust or dander uh, that rubber is gonna act like an attractant and and that bulb is gonna have a coating of dust on it before too long so if you're in a dusty environment, just peel it off and be careful with the lamp. The build is pretty solid. It's lighter than most other LEDs. It's a single board driver circuit. 
which is actually uh, pretty cool. There's there's no heavy inductors in it or anything. And the other thing I've discovered, I've put uh, different radios and uh, different radio equipment near these bulbs, and they don't really radiate any noise that I've detected on any of the major RF bands, AM, FM, shortwave. Um, I mean, the only thing I'm, if they do, it's very little. The only thing I'm really picking up getting near the lines is the uh, harmonic distortion, which is pretty heavy on today's power grid. So, you know, but the bulb itself, it may be giving off a little RF, but it's not detectable above the harmonic distortion on the lines, you know, coming into the system. So, uh, but not a bad little setup. Now, let me plug it in. I'll show you what it can do because it's pretty cool. And here we go. Okay, so here we are. I've just got it in a just a little cheapo lamp base, and I'm actually doing two tests. I found that this unit runs pretty decently on regular sine wave AC input, like what you get off the power grid. But what we're going to do today is I have my little inverter down there, and my uh, system is nearing full charge. And what we're going to do is we're not only going to show you how bright it is, but we are going to run it on a modified sine wave inverter to see how well this bulb will uh, run like that. Because if it's going to burn out while running on an inverter, then it does not suit the purposes of solar power. But if it runs and it holds its own without uh, destroying itself, then uh, we have a bulb here that will do very well for solar. So. Here is, uh, you can see the room I'm going to show you. This is, that's daylight coming in. We have no light source here whatsoever. And you can see, you can still kind of see the walls. I'll have to compare this to a different bulb, but uh, let me show you just how bright this thing is. Yeah, it's that bright. Now, the, this camera usually doesn't even flare up that bad, but look at the light levels that this thing puts out. And that's just on a little table lamp with no shade. And see, even the shadows is definitely equivalent to a 60 watt bulb and then some. I mean, it's insane how much light this thing gives out. It hurts to even look at. The camera, it's, it's hurting for the camera to look at it and it's hurting for me to look at it. But this, with a proper lampshade, would be a much better animal. Let me turn that thing off because that, that without a shade that really is pretty stout but you could see the pattern in there they've placed the LEDs they've placed the LEDs in such a way they've placed the LEDs in such a way that that it actually and I can't even get this to, to shut her down to it let me see if I can do that maybe I can get it to there we go the LEDs are actually in the center of the unit and they were pointing out sideways versus uh, versus other ways they could be doing it and I'm gonna turn that off I'll turn it off and just watch and you can see where they are and that is where they are they're on a little pedestal and uh, the thing runs really cool now here's the other thing that's really awesome and let me go back to uh, normal light and uh, I'll just we'll close it here and I'm gonna do the long-term test and I'll put another video up telling you how this thing fared over about an hour of operation. There it is with the uh, with the lampshade on it. And right away you see this versus other LEDs. It has a uniform sideways pattern. The entirety of that lampshade is illuminated. Let me just uh, meter it down. It's up in the top of that shade. And everywhere below that is actually below the level of the bulb. But uh, you can see it's not too bad and it uh, it illuminates quite well the bounce lighting is also excellent off the inside of the shade so definitely a good bulb and it's the cheapest LED bulb on the market but it's also a very well built LED bulb and right now I'm running it modified sine wave we're gonna see how it holds up because like I said it's a 60 watt equivalent it's actually unbelievably bright even with the shade on I think it's brighter than a standard 60 watt myself having seen them next to each other 
This one is whiter because I chose the daylight bulb instead of the uh, instead of the warm white. Good product, excellent product. The only thing that remains to be seen is the longevity, and that's what we're testing here with the inverter. Okay, uh, that was that, and you can see now I'm actually being illuminated by this bulb, and it's passing through a uh, a beige shade. So the whiteness of the light is actually shifted to the yellow a little bit, but. Uh, it's an excellent, excellent bulb uh, for the price. You can't go wrong. If you buy even one of these, you should be satisfied. Try it for yourself. It's so cheap, anybody can go blow 9 bucks and pick up the 40-watt version of this and give it a shot. It's the lowest price point per watt that you can buy right now. Cree introduced these onto the market, and their stock went up 50% the day they released it. That's how good the customer, res the consumer response was to that. Um, Cree also manufactures their in their LEDs in-house. The bulbs here, made in America. There's there's some Japanese and Chinese parts, but uh, that can't be helped. Those are imported. But the LEDs for these bulbs are actually fabricated in American plants. So this thing is keeping Americans employed, and I applaud them for that. Thank you, Cree, for not putting Made in China on your product. The fact that you can sell it that cheap and not make it in China says that anybody could do it. And uh, that's a very American thing you've done in keeping people employed that otherwise would be drawing welfare right now. I think if you care for your country, do the patriotic thing. Buy American when you can find it. These are going to be in every socket in my house by the time it's over with. And the Chinese ones... I'm going to retire them from house service and put them in some other service somewhere else on the property until they finally died. But that's a 25-year bulb. LEDs on the order, they last on the order of 25 years. So, awesome product. Go to Home Depot and get you one. And just give one a try. And I think, I think you'll be convinced pretty quick that it's a decent bulb. They have a lot of really unique engineering points to this, and I would say to anybody, uh, look for the product teardown. There's a guy, he, he seems to be some kind of an engineer, and he knows his business, and he tears one down and evaluates the bulb from the inside out, and it's a very good, uh, very good watch. You should give it a try. Uh, anyway, that's all I have to say. Buy one, comment, comment on the channel, and tell me what you think. Tell other people what you think. Uh, that's it. Take care, YouTube.